Hello from Africa. This is Professor Slobodan Petrovic with Oregon Tech group of students and we are here on a mission to install solar electricity, give lights uh, to schools and hospitals in Tanzania. In addition to that, we are trying to promote the use of the new device, new technology called Lotus. In Tanzania, there are approximately 70,000 villages. These villages have no power, no electricity, no clean drinking water, and no refrigeration. We are today in one of those villages. It is called Changalikwa. And we bring lotus from the sunny Arizona to sunny Africa, sunny Tanzania, sunny Maasai land. This is one of the most pristine areas in the world where Maasai tribe lives. This is the tribe that is very traditional. You can see them in their traditional clothing and they still preserve the lifestyle of hundreds of years ago. But at the same time, the Maasai recognize the need for technology. And they like to have amenities of the modern worlds and uh, bridge those amenities with their traditions. Maasai recognize the need for clean drinking water. They know that the illnesses that come from water and hurt their children and, uh, and the adults are uh, uh, very bad for their, for their tribes. So they try to get clean drinking water. They also try to get electricity. Electricity provides for them lights at night and also gives them the ability to charge their cell phones. All Maasai have cell phones and this is their communication with the rest of the world. We want to enable the remote areas of Africa to be part of the humanity. And we are going to do that by providing electricity for them and enable communication. Lotus device, which you can see here, has the ability to provide three products or amenities to remote villages in Africa. Clean drinking water, electricity and refrigeration. This Lotus device is a one meter demonstration model. The full version of the Lotus device is a four meter in diameter. And it has the ability to produce roughly 11 kilowatts of power compared to the same area of solar photovoltaic, more popular technology, Lotus technology provides three to four times more energy. And this energy can, can be directed into three different products. Clean drinking water, electricity through small steam generator, and it can power a refrigerator. Refrigeration is also an important part of everyday life. For example, the Oregon Tech students uh, were honored yesterday by Maasai tribe uh, 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 slaughtering one cow in their honor. Normally, the meat cannot be uh, preserved for more than 24 hours. And in lots of cases, the areas where there is uh, no, not enough food to begin with uh, lose the ability to refrigerate and preserve food. So Maasai also recognize the need for refrigeration. So this is again one of the 70,000 villages in Tanzania and to electrify those villages with not only uh, lights, but also ability to produce clean water and refrigeration is almost impossible using the traditional uh, electricity generation technologies and, and uh, electrical grid. The proposal that we have here today, please take a little bit more shot of Lotus, is to use these Lotus devices, the big version, to electrify the villages. It is estimated that one four meter Lotus device would be able to produce enough electricity, clean drinking water and refrigeration for a village of 100 households. And we believe that one day this will be the solution for bringing electricity to rural areas of Africa and other developing countries. Goodbye from Tanzania and from a side village of Changalikwa. We'll just uh, show 